Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m cubed equals to minus 27 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here you focus on the given question statement and you see here we have the exponent of m is 3 it means that we need to find the three roots of this equation or we find the cubic root of this equation. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first we move this minus 27 in the left hand side and it will be written as m cubed plus 27 equals to 0. And now uh, after that we uh, rewrite this equation as m cubed and we make the prime factors of 27 and we know that its prime factors are 3 cubed equals to 0. So after that here we need uh, the nice cubic formula. Uh, in order to solve this uh, problem so here first we write the cubic formula uh, you know that if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square so this is our nice cubic formula which we apply to the above equation so here we have our a is our m and b is 3 so now we substitute the value of a and b in the below uh, cubic formula. So when we substitute a and b in this equation, it will be written as first we have a plus b. So our a is m plus b is 3 into after that we have a square. So our a is m square minus a b over a is m and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need the little bit simplifications and we uh, write it as m plus 3 times of uh, m square minus 3m plus uh, here we have 3 square and 3 square is equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now uh, in order to solve further we need to convert this equation in two cases so that our first case is we take m plus 3 equals to 0 and our second case is we take m square minus 3m plus 9 equals to 0. So now uh, first we focus on case number 1 so in the first case here uh, we move this plus 3 to the right hand side and it will be written as m equals to minus 3 and in order to solve this equation here first we check uh, is this a quadratic equation uh, uh, by using the quadratic formula or by factorization method or completing case so here we have three methods to solve this quadratic equation so uh, first uh, we just here we solve this problem for using the quadratic formula so now we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9 and our quadratic formula is written as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here we substitute the values of a b and c in this nice formula and we have the value of b is minus 3 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and this is divided by 2 times of a and over a is equals to 1 and now in the next step we multiply this minus by a minus and we get here 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square and we know that minus 3 square is equals to plus 9 and we have minus 4 9 is 36 divided by 2. And now in the next step here we need little bit simplification here and we just uh, subtract these two terms and we write it as 3 plus minus 9 minus 37 is equals to square root of minus 27 and it is divided by 2 and now in the next step uh, here uh, we make the prime factors of 27 and it will be written as 3 plus minus uh, 3 times of 3 times of 3 is 
27 3 times of 3 is 9 and 9 3 is a 27 and we separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2 because 2 ones are 2 okay so after that here we use the definition of square root so we know that uh, this pair is written as 3 plus minus square root of 3 square multiplied by 3 and we write this minus 1 square root as iota and it is divided by 2 and after that we use the property of square root and here we separate the square root on both of these terms and it will be written as 3 plus minus square root of 3 square multiplied by square root of 3 into iota divided by 2 here uh, here we use this property of square root we know that if we have square root of a b so we write it as square root of a into square root of b so we use this nice property of square root on this term and uh, it will be written in this form so after that here we uh, again use the property of square root so we know that if you have a square and square root uh, at the same time so these uh, are cancelled out by each other so uh, we will just use here this property if you have a square square root because uh, when we uh, write this square root in exponential form so this is cancelled out by each other and we get here a so now uh, first we uh, convert this equation into the exponential form and it will be written as 3 plus minus 3 square and we know that square root is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by this is square root of 3 into iota and this whole divided by 2 and now in the next step you see here this 2 and 2 are cancelled by each other and we will obtain here 3 plus minus 3 into square root of 3 into iota and this is divided by 2 so now here we just uh, separate the fraction and when we separate this fraction so uh, it will be written uh, in this form 3 by 2 plus minus 3 into square root of 3 by 2 iota so these are the two other complex roots of the given equation okay so finally uh, we have three roots of this question so our first root is we find in the start of the problem and it is m1 is equals to minus 3 and our second root is m2 equals to 3 over 2 plus 3 into square root 3 over 2 iota and our third root is m cubed equals to 3 over 2 minus 3 into square root of 3 over 2 iota so these are the three roots of the given question and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos